Okay, okay, so we're back, and this time we're going to be looking at AZ Insight. A Z, the letters, Insight. It is a tool developed by Ace and Zen, and this tool is phenomenal. It is one of our go to for our own Amazon company. Our buyers use it constantly, even our warehouse team sometimes uses it when we're shipping our products and they want to double check movement, and there's just so many great features. And of course, before you go pay for it and download it, make sure to use our link, which is in the PDF below this video, so that way you can get 30 days of free access. So you could try it out before you buy it. Nick and the guys at Ace and Zen are so sure you're gonna love this. They offer it to Amazon Lit and anyone who's part of the Amazon Lit team, eSellers RI team, 30 day free trial. So let's get into it. Anytime you're using AZ Insight, the way that it works is you're going to have to have your Seller Central account open and logged in on your Google Chrome. Uh, what that does is it allows you to use a lot of the features that you'll find on top, like check the, checking if a product uh, you're eligible to sell it or if it's a restricted product, because that would be more specific to your account, so you need to be log logged in. Uh, it even allows you to use the sell yours button, and the sell yours button, just like it states, will allow you to quickly list that product through Seller Central, and since you're already logged in, They'll just open up a new tab, make it real easy. Over here, this little green flame tells us that it's not a dangerous product. However, if it was red, you would basically know that this is a dangerous product, hazmat product. And then one more over is your IP claims. If this product has had any IP claims, you're going to see it right here. So basically, real quick, I already covered the first four things that are happening here. The first four features right at the top of AZ Insight. So let's zoom in, take a deep dive now into what we have here. I got this Gillette listing up. It's just, just a random listing I came across. Let, let's see what AZ Insight could tell us about this listing. So. so right now we're in the calculator tab. And just like it states, the calculator tab has over here the sell price, which you can update. The first column is for FBM and it's going to calculate for FBM. So it's not going to take into consideration your fulfillment costs. Uh, this is not being sent to a fulfillment center. So there won't be fulfillment costs. The only thing that it is taking into consideration is the referral fee. So that's why at $21.99 here, it has a profit of $18.69. And if we hover over this little I for information next to that, it'll give you the breakdown. It's only removing three dollars and thirty cents uh, for a referral fee so right there just taking the referral fee and then it's on us to put in what our buy cost is I don't want to jump around but I'll, I'll let you know that there is a way to automate the buy cost how much shipping will be based on the weight of the ASIN and I'll show you guys that later in in settings so now let's move on to the second column. Before I do that, let me jump back because I did say that the buy cost is where you put the shipping, but I also want to make sure that you understand for FBM, the buy cost is where you put the shipping versus for FBA, you wouldn't. But for both, the buy cost is also where you put the cost of goods. That's what the buy cost is. It's the cost of the product. So if the cost of my product was $5, then in the FBA column here, I would put five, while here I would put five plus whatever my shipping is. Let's say the shipping is four, so I'll put nine. And now right away it breaks down the profit based on both having a buy box or sell price of $21.99. So here the profit is $9.69, here uh, selling FBA it's $10.03. The return on investment is 108%, Versus here, it's 201%, and the profit margin is 44.46. Your break-even price, meaning that what price you would be selling the product for to break even. Uh, so if you sold a 1059 FBA with a $5 cost of goods and a $4 shipping, 
Did I say FBA? I meant FBM. With a $5 cost of good and $4 shipping, you would be left with zero. You wouldn't lose money, you wouldn't make money. But it lets you know how much room you have to play with. It's selling at $21.99, you have $11 and 40 cents. You could drop it before you would even break even or begin to lose money would be at $11.41. While on the other side, your break even is $10 and 19 cents. So we could even go lower selling it fulfilled by Amazon. We could drop it all the way to $10.19 if our cost is $5 and we would break even. And then right under that, it shows the lowest sold price right now, $21.99 uh, FBM or $21.89 FBM. B A. Let's look at one of these other features here where it shows profit. There's a little I here. So what's cool is it gives you a breakdown of what sales price you'd have to sell it at FBA and FBM to make a profit. So if you want to make zero profit or break even, sell it for 1019 FBA or 1059 FBM. We kind of just covered that break even. Let's jump up to $10. Let's say I want to make $10 profit. Okay, well to make $10 profit on this item, I would have to sell it for $21.95 FBA or for $22.35 FBM. Now remember, this is assuming that the FBM has a cost of goods of five with a shipping cost of four. And it's assuming that the cost of goods for the FBA is five. So once I plug those, those numbers into the buy cost, all, these other, all this other information, this data is able to populate. Uh, and then the return on investment does exactly the same thing, but using the metrics of ROI versus profit. Okay, so let's scoot to the top here. And first thing you see in blue and bold under this calculator tab, now the reason I call it a tab is because you'll see when you click these, it actually changes the whole view that you have of AZ Insight. But we're not gonna change it now because we're gonna go through the entire calculator. And like I was just saying, the first thing we see in the top left corner in bold blue is beauty and personal care. It's giving you the main category that this ASIN falls under. Then if we shift to the right, it gives you BSR, the best sellers ranking. So this ASIN sits in beauty and personal care with a BSR of 1678. It's in the top 0.02% of all ASINs in that category, which is what this stands for. Right underneath, we have its estimated monthly sales. So the guys over at ASINs and phenomenal job. They're, they're crunching data constantly, building out these algorithms to try to get a better picture for us as far as the volume is going to move. Now, remember, I always, and so does Eric, recommend to use multiple tools because these are just estimates and estimates could be incorrect or they could be a broader estimate than what we expected. So for us, AZ Insights has been phenomenal, really on point. However, sometimes we like to use a second tool to just get another picture, another perspective of the estimate. So we might use the um, Rev Seller or A Plus Scout or AMZ Scout. One of them is the other tool that we're using to get our estimate, just so we could get a better, more rounded picture of what the estimate is based on other teams, other softwares, and their algorithm. And then right to the right of that is the revenue. So based on 4,360 sales a month at $21.99, it has an estimated revenue of $95,876. All right, we've covered the left side, the top side. Let's crank it over to the right here. And what we have is, it's, it's really, it, it's, it's Keepa, you know? I love Keepa. I, I, I love to tell our members about the time that the Amazon executive team came through, but this specific time they came with their laptops and they were showing us ASINs in the office and they had Keepa up on their laptops. They were using the Keepa Chrome extension and we brought it up to them like, oh wow, you guys use Keepa? They're like, of course, what else would we use? But Keepa has been tracked 
tracking this history of Amazon and their ASINs longer than any other software out there. And that's why a lot of softwares use the history graph, the historical data provided by Keepa. Now, I'm sure AZ Insights also infusing their own algorithms and intertwining it with some of their own solutions. However, I'm also sure that some of this stems from Keepa as well. So I like to call it a Keepa graph, but it is just historical data. So what we have here showing up on the graph is the 30, 90, 180. You have the BSR, how many drops in rank it's had. So a drop is anytime it changes, right? Anytime it goes from 1800 to 1700 is a drop. Then we got our estimated sales for 30, 90, 180 days. Now, this is the estimated sales they would have for those 90 days. So not it's not saying that when you look at the 90 day column, it's not saying that at that 90 day period, the estimated 30 day sales were 15,000. Or when you're looking 180 days back, the estimated 30 day sales were 26,000. No, this was the estimated sales for 180 days, the estimated sales for 90 days, and then the estimated sales for 30. Then you got your buy box, your average buy box price for 30 days, 1829, 90 days, 2051, 180 days, 2125, and then Amazon's price. So what I see right away is that this is a phenomenal product, but I do see a rank that's increasing, moving further away from one, while the buy box price continues to lower. That tells me that demand is decreasing and probably supply is either increasing or staying the same. Maybe supply hasn't changed. However, demand is definitely decreasing and that's why the price is dropping, becoming more aggressive, yet the BSR isn't improving. All right, so we have some cool tools under this historical data chart. And the first thing you're going to see is this bad boy right here. Uh, that's to show or hide the Zen graph. I'm sure you've seen a graph like this before. It looks similar to another graph we were just speaking of. A and they break it down for you here. So when you see this yellow background, that means Amazon was selling on the product at the time. This black line here would be used. Even though I'm clicking it, I don't see any use, which means there is no sellers that sold it for used, at least for this period, this uh, 90 day period here. Sales rank is green, we could turn it off, turn it on so you could see, and here it is. You could track it here, see what the sales rank has been. Looks like it was a little bit higher for a while, and then since August it's decreased, and it's uh, you know close to what its average has been around 17, 16, 1700. We did have a nice dip for a little bit here. Well, I'm not sure what happened, I would assume probably another very popular Gillette listing was out of stock and so everyone came aboard and onto this one to purchase. Then you got your pink triangles, which are the buy box and you can kind of hover over them. Very, it's, it's Keepa, it's very similar to Keepa, your new offers, everything, but you get to see it right here. We love this tool because it combines our favorite tools into one, and that's a prime example there. Look what else we got here. We have our UPC right here. We have our EAN right here. You have the brand, the manufacturer. You have how long this ASIN's been around for, 1146 days. You got the offers. There's one FBA offer within 3% of the lowest FBA price. There's just one FBA offer within 3% of the lowest price. Let's see, is that true? Let's take a look. Let's click here. 21.99, 21.89. Yeah, that's it. There's just, that's it. And right here, their FBA, fulfilled by ship from amazon.com so fulfilled by amazon.com and over here they're not ship from tactic shield so it's true there's only one other fba offer that's close to the lowest price so here's keep it showing up 23 items in stock one item in stock but it's no longer a back page it's own individual page for sellers it's now this sidebar it is what it is amazon making changes and 
I guess it's a more friendly feature for the customer, leaving it all on one page. So back to here, you got your shipping weight, you got right here you would see if this was oversized or small standard or hazmat or uh, you know, even if it's a potential small and light, it would all show here. This is a large standard product with dimensions of 6.2, 3.8 and 1.8 inches. Product weight right here and then the package quantity that Amazon, that's coming from Amazon. Now, you know, a lot of the scrapers too, like uh, Scan Unlimited, they have a package quantity that pulls in and sometimes that information's incorrect. That's not Scan Unlimited's fault. A lot of times it's not even Amazon's fault. You gotta blame the seller who created that listing. They probably didn't know what they were doing or maybe they did. When they put the pack size though, they put it incorrectly. Whether they did that purposefully and they didn't know what they were doing or by accident and they didn't know what they were doing. That's the reason that on a lot of these listings when you're using a scraper, you'll just have the incorrect pack size which will cause it to provide you and show you with the incorrect profit. All right, AZ Insight Pro by AZ Insight. And so the next tool we're going to be looking at is the prep guidance right up here. This little uh, cart looks like a U-boat with some packages on it. Let's click on that. And then it basically, when it says consult help documents, that's just one of the standard uh, replies that you get from Amazon when you make a prep instruction call. So you could ignore that when you see that. And then it says requires FN SKU label. So that's it. Essentially, it doesn't require any prep besides the FN SKU label. If it did, it would say poly bag or bubble wrap or whatnot. Only thing it requires is the FN SKU label. Let's say it's been a while you've had this up and you don't wanna, you're too lazy to go up to here and hit the refresh button. You could just click it here and refresh the data, see what happens if anything's changed. Okay, and then after the refresh right next to here, you have this cool copy to Google Sheet. Okay, I should be connected. Add new spreadsheet. So, so let's let's say we got this spreadsheet here. We're gonna name it ASIN Zen Test. So basically, I went to a Google Drive, I opened up, or you could go to docs.google.com, open up as long as you have a Gmail account, Google account, which I think you should since you're using Google Chrome, you'll be able to do this. So here's my ASIN Zen Test one. So now that I have this ASIN Zen test, this Google Sheet, if, if this is the way you're gonna be copying it, now that I have this, what I'm gonna have to do is I'm gonna have to go to settings and just make some changes here in the export configurations. So here's the profile. So I'm gonna choose the first profile here. I'm gonna edit that. I'm gonna give this profile name, my Easy Insight. Profile, all right. And now they wanna know what fields do I want exported. I want the title, I want the Amazon URL. Actually, give me just the ASIN with URL. I want the BSR. I wanna know the 30 day buy box price. I wanna know the current FBA buy cost and sell price. Cause I'm doing this fulfilled by Amazon. I want to know what my net profits are and what that margin looks like. And the buy, current buy box price I definitely want to have. You know what? I also would like to know the 90 day. There's 90 day here? Yeah, let's take a look at these 90 day results. I know they're coming up here somewhere. The return on investment, that's not for me. Might be for you. You know, I'd like to know the average 90 day Amazon buy box stats. Like how, mu how much in the past 90 days Amazon's won the buy box. That's important to me. That gives me a better understanding if I want to compete against Amazon. So that's why I added that 90 day AMZ buy box one percentage. All right. So then down here kind of gives me what it's going to look like. That the first thing is going to be the product title, then ASIN with URL, BSR, all that good stuff. So that's what it's going to look like. All right. Got it. So let me save this. It's saved. Back to the calculator tab. And now I'm going to click one more time, copy to Google Sheet. It says copy. You've copied this ASIN data to your Google Sheet. Remember we chose the sheet previously and now we chose what profile and setup it was going to be for that sheet. So now let's look at the sheet and here we go. We have it all here. And now at the top, if we wanted to, we could name it. We could open up a row and have description, the ASIN with the link. So I could just boom, click on the ASIN or hit alt enter 
Brings me to the ASIN. I got his rank. I got the buy box price. I got all this great information, including that Amazon in 90 days has won the buy box 50% of the time. I would actually jump on this 50% of the time. That, that gives me some room. That means half the time I might be able to have that buy box. You know, I'd want to look at Keepa and see maybe Amazon was out of stock half that time. And when they're in stock, it's 100% of the time, but it's a great reference point. And then last but not least, we can copy export this to a CSV. And same thing, we would set up a little profile and then be able to copy it to an Excel versus a, a Google Sheet. All right, I'm gonna jump on to a different ASIN right now so we can see some more features of what AZ Insight has to provide. So here's a Bigelow T. And the reason I chose this is this Bigelow T has lots of variations. Amazon, about a year ago, a little over a year ago, they consolidated a lot of listings, a lot of similar listings like Bigelow T. They put them into one listing and then broke it up by flavor, making it easier for the customer to have a price reference or just a different reference of the different products that that brand carries, especially when the products are the same like for Bigelow, it's just T. But what that did was it really messed up the BSR the best sellers ranking because all of a sudden this parent ace in here which is culmination of all the child ASINs, meaning that it's a culmination of all the different variations, not only the different sizes, but the different flavors. So essentially for this listing, you know, maybe there's 40, 50 different variants and all of those sales in a 30 day period make up for the BSR. So then when you're trying to get estimated sales, it's really based on the parent. It's not based on the variation, which makes it very, very difficult for a seller to really get a gauge of how well this ASIN sells, this particular variant of this parent ASIN sells, just because we don't know how often it's being purchased when compared to the others. So like this, for instance, it has 6,200 sales a month, but that 6,200 isn't for the cozy chamomile 100 count. It's for every one of these other listings under here, the ginger lemon, lavender chamomile, variety pack, I love lemon, mint medley, 100 count, 18 count, 18 count pound of six, pack of six, 118 count pack of one, all these different variations, all those sales culminate to that 6,195 sales per month. All right, so we got a little keeper going on here. Uh, let's get back to AZ Insight and the second tab here next to calculator, which is called variations. When I click the variations tab, what's happening is that Easy Insight right now is pulling all the information for every one of these ASINs that are connected to this, to the parent ASIN. So all the different varieties. Give us some time, it's fetching information. And what you're seeing here is you have your rank, you have your landed price, your price, the shipping cost, the reviews, the review percentage. And this is what I wanna be looking at. So this is how I use variation. There's lots of ways you could play around with this. You can make changes. You can look at this as a graph and there's just so much insight they provide here. I mean, you see, we can click view graph and we can look at ace inverse reviews and there's so much here, but I'm gonna leave that for all of you to play around with and, and, and see what features you need. But when it comes to variations, here's what we do. So I have this LV3, this ASIN that ends in LV3. So let me go find where that is on this list of all these ASINs here. Here's the LV3, Camille 100 count pack of one. Let's say this is the product I wanna sell. Well, I'm gonna scroll all the way over until I see the reviews and the review percent. Review percent is 2.5%. 
Meaning out of all the reviews for every one of the variations, the chamomile makes up two and a half percent. Well, that's very low. That's concerning. So what I would do is, and this is not perfect math. This is my first order. I might even start less than what we're about to calculate. But what I would do is I would take 6,195. That's the total that it sells per month. And I would multiply that by 0.025 or two and a half percent because I want to know if this product has two and a half percent of the reviews we can make a guesstimate an educated guess that it's gonna have about two and a half percent of sales monthly sales so let's see what that looks like that's about a hundred and fifty four sales a month if this is my first order I would probably start with about 60 go a little bit less and see how accurate that is I mean also you know that's a hundred 155 total sales i now need to see how many competitive sellers there are uh, let's say i'm selling it at that 1310 mark that means there's one two and then i would be the third competitive seller so divide by three about 51 a month so yeah i think the uh starting with 60 is very healthy number to start with and so now I go from potentially making a huge mistake in ordering 6,000 of an ASIN or, or looking at down here and seeing that, wow, this product's ranked 300, 250 in, in grocery and then going to some sort of like a sales rank estimator, like AMZ Scout, I believe has one, a few, few companies out there have one. And so essentially, that's what we use the variation for. It's, it's a phenomenal tool. RevSeller has something similar. We found that for us, AC Insights, a little bit faster to process and also it's a little bit more accurate for us. For us, that's what we're we're recommending over RevSeller, but we still use RevSeller too. You know, like the, the more tools you have, the better. It gives you different perspectives. And let's go to the third tab here, Stock Checker. What we're gonna do is for this specific ASIN, we're going to see how much stock is in Amazon and FBM through all the sellers on this particular ASIN of this cozy chamomile 100 count and get a better understanding of what we can expect when we send it out. So previously, when we saw that using the variation checker that the cozy chamomile made up two and a half percent of the reviews, we decided that two and a half percent of the sales estimate is most likely what this cozy chamomile was selling, which was approximately 150 and we then saw that there were two other competitors, Quality Tea Lover and Frontier Devices. And so we would be the third competitive seller sharing the buy box. And since it was selling approximately 150 a month, we were gonna get about 60. Now we might change that amount that we're going to get after we look at the stock checker. And what I'm seeing with the stock checker is that Quality Tea Lovers has only one left. Here it is, only one left in stock, and Frontier Devices has four. Now, I do want to state as a warning that just because Frontier Devices has four, Quality Tea Lovers has one, that doesn't mean that they don't have more on the way. That doesn't mean that they don't have a lot reserved and being transferred between fulfillment centers that we don't know about. Unfortunately, this is just what is eligible for sale right now. This is what's fulfillable and available right now. But it does give us some insight, pun intended, into what we can expect before we make the purchase of this ASIN to begin selling it on Amazon. All right, so here in dark green, you have the lowest FBA prices. In this mint color, you have FBA sellers and their quantities. There's some large quantities here. Uh, Best Buyer Depot, they're only a few cents higher than the lowest guys over here, but they have 107 quantity. Then America's Tea Shop, you know, they're nine cents higher than the girls over here, and uh, they have 546. So there's a lot, you know, there's a lot. Within 25 cents of the buy box, you're looking at three, four, nine, over a thousand units in stock in Amazon for a listing that we guesstimate sells about 150 a month. Now, the estimates could be wrong. Maybe the people just don't leave reviews for this cozy chamomile and it's selling a lot. 
lot more. Or maybe sellers saw that it moved 6,000 units a month and so they packed it on and now there's a ton of product here. Let's take a look at Keep and get a better understanding. If we see that the buy box price is constantly fluctuating or dropping, well then we know. Uh, no, the buy box has relatively stayed the same. I mean, we even had a dip and it shot back up. So that means sales must be coming in. I mean, or everyone's at their bottom price, but even so, I mean, back here it was around this price. Uh, it seems like it's got a very, very steady price buy box price on it. So that tells me either everyone's constantly has this fulfilled and they're able to supply and so they're all at their lowest break even prices or lowest margin, profit margin that they're all willing to accept or this product is moving better than 150 a month. But I would still start slow, I'd still start low and like, you know, essentially what I'm trying to show you here is all the different tools that this one tool, AZ Insight, provides. You know, it combines them all into one amazing tool. You got the calculator, you got the estimator, you got the variation checker, you have that the stock quantity checker. It's amazing. There's a ton of other features. We could play around with the settings. We could go to quick links and you could look at the reviews and sort them by positive or critical ones or go to camel 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 which is similar to keepa it's the original keepa uh, you could go to amazon's revenue calculator if you feel like this may be incorrect and it'll bring you there i mean you know you could do a title upc search of this product here so you could do a title search on google and see what shows up or on amazon maybe you'll find other listings or if you sell on ebay or walmart maybe you'll find listings that you want to also add on to. I mean, and then you have your settings and there's so many different changes you can make to your settings here. I highly recommend use our link to get 30 days free. You'll find it in the PDF below this video. This is AZ Insight by the Ace and Zen team. Stay lit. So you can play with these tools, use these tools at a lower cost or for a longer time before you pay for it. Let your money work for you.